What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to do a really quick uh, and dirty video of a problem I ran into in the solar shed. I came out here to try to figure out what I needed to do to finish this project up and I ran into some wiring problems with the QO distribution center um, and so I wanted to show that to you real quick and how I'm going to solve it and this will probably be the last video I'll be able to crank out for a couple weeks so Hopefully you guys will bear with me. So anyway, the problem that I ran into, um, I was able to find a fuse, I'm sorry, a breaker that would, uh, that would fit in there and would work for my application. However, as you can see, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. The wires that I'm using do not fit in. And so um, they don't fit in the, the terminals in the load center. These, these terminals, for whatever reason, are slightly smaller than the home line series that I was using before. So this worked with the home line series, does not work with the QO series, and the, the difference between the two, the QO um, is rated for 48 volt DC, and the home line series is not. So I was trying to switch over to a little bit better safety, a little bit better protection. The good news is I was only using one breaker, so I don't really need a distribution box for just one breaker that that's a little bit overkill uh, I want I put it in there for future expansion but um, I don't have any immediate plans for for expansion right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing out and I'm going to put in distribution blocks that I already had laying around um, this will be plenty big enough it accepts a one aught gauge so um, plenty big enough I'm just going to put an input and an output I don't really need the breaker uh, protection because I already have breaker protection here and I already have breaker protection on the other side right there. So I already had breaker protection coming in and going out uh, or on both sides anyways. So I don't really need this. It's redundant anyway. So I thought what the heck I'll just put one of these in on the positive and one on the negative side and we'll call it good. Okay, there we go. I know that some of you with your OCD, uh, with all these wires hanging out like this, are probably freaking out right now. Um, I didn't want to trim down these wires um, because I never know how I'm going to reroute these in the future, and, uh, and I'm not going to pull any more cable through that conduit under the ground. So um, it is what it is. I'll, I'll tidy it up a little bit and put some, some uh, wire holders on there um, but it solves the problem it distributes the power uh, it was a, a solution I already had I was getting ready to order something on, off of Amazon and I said wait a minute I've got some distribution blocks so uh, anyway that's the cheap and easy fix so uh, next time you see this we'll be ready to finish it off hopefully in one more video and, and put it into production thanks for watching guys be sure to hit subscribe so you know how the solar shed turns out